uh, take advantage of the sense of touch when you're driving um, to make it safer. So currently, you've got these auditory and visual GPS navigation units in your car that are essentially distracting you from uh, on the road kinds of distractions, right? Kind of okay. pedestrians and things like that. So you're trying to swerve around the road, but you've still got to pay attention to this um, GPS navigation unit that's sort of draining your your uh, your mental resources, your cognitive mm -hmm. resources. So the idea here is that we've mounted uh, 20 vibro tactile actuators onto a steering wheel. And it's just a rough prototype, um, but the idea is that you can create kind of navigational cues, sort of left turn or right turn cues using the sense of touch. Okay. And by doing so, you can lower the level of cognitive effort required uh, for a user to get from point A to point B. Okay. Right. So you can you can get a sense of this. Um, Hal can demo this for you if you if you want to try it out. Put your hands actually on so the wheel. You, yeah, it's gonna be, yeah. Well, I guess you can do it with just yeah, one, one hand. hand. You'll probably can okay. feel it. Yeah. The idea is there's enough sensors under here that you're gonna feel. So you're driving sensor. along. You're and driving then... along, and, and your GPS wants you to let you know that it's time to turn right. And so it starts oh, wow. doing is so all these are vibrating in sequence in a clockwise direction so that with your hand, especially if you have two hands on, you can feel that motion and that that's of course that's the direction right. you'd be turning the wheel. So it becomes okay. a very natural thing. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to take your eyes off the road. You don't have to be listening to the GPS. Okay. Anything along those lines. Um, and one of the things you could also do would be, um, you know, uh, today GPS will say you need to turn right in 500 feet. You need to turn right in 200 feet. But it's not people don't generally have a good sense of what 500 feet is or 200 feet. You can, um, let me just stop it and then. You can also do things like start, I'll just do a left turn. So an upcoming left turn, if you hold on, you have to hold it a little bit longer. But it's, it's you, feel it, it. you can feel it's accelerating. Yep. Yeah. So that's like kind of, okay, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. You know, then you know exactly when you need to make the okay. left hand turn when it kind of reaches that, that, that pitch. You want to? Um, no, I guess that pretty much covers it. I guess the key, the key idea, though, is that um, by using kind of this this clockwise or counterclockwise motion, mm -hmm. you can kind of play some uh, human psychology tricks on the brain, which sort of makes this uh, easier for the user or for the driver to actually understand the cues, okay. right? Because because really this is only going to be useful if people don't have to spend a lot of time thinking about it. And um, just our initial studies have shown that uh, this does look like it reduces the number of errors people actually make when they're driving around. So, right. Is it going to implement with uh, other things aside from like directions, like let's say uh, obstacles, like maybe like deer or something? Yeah, so that's actually something we're looking at right now okay. um, with embedding the actuators, not just in the steering wheel, but in other parts of the car okay. to convey things like blind si uh, uh, blindside yeah, information, yeah. Um, okay. just to in increase on-the-road awareness. Okay. Right.